What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk about motivating myself with silver, but really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. The link will be in the description, I'm trying to hit 1000 subscribers. And if you would like to help support the channel by getting some DYDSS merchandise, of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs along with a ton of other products, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations. Any and all merch can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. But today I want to talk about something that I was supposed to talk about a couple of days ago. I'm sure many of my viewers who are already subscribed to the channel know that a couple days ago I posted a video talking about three tips on staying motivated while you're stacking silver, some silver stacking motivation. And the initial focal point of that video was supposed to be what I'm going to be talking about today and I somehow distracted myself and I ended up talking about some of the main ways that silver, I believe, motivates people as they stack it. But today I want to talk about something similar but different. I want to talk about the ability to motivate yourself, not just for stacking silver, not just for saving money, but in all areas of life. If you cannot motivate yourself, you are in a world of trouble. And I say this for many reasons. And I wanna start this video off by saying that, same thing I said in the other video, I in no way, shape or form am here to motivate anyone that's not my job. That's not what I'm here to do. That's not what I want to do. I'm not here to motivate anyone. I'm not trying to convince anyone. I'm not trying to do anything. I make my videos to document what I'm doing, to ask some questions, to answer some questions, to pique interest and spark conversation. I have found in the comment section of many, many, many videos over the last two plus years of making silver videos, People saying things along the lines of that they rely on silver stacking videos to be motivated. They depend on full stack videos for inspiration. I believe that shouldn't be the case. I understand it. I get it. When I first started stacking, that's what I would do too. I would look up full stack videos and I would get all enthusiastic by watching a video of some guy showing, I don't know, 10,000 ounces on the table. I thought it was really cool. I thought it was really exciting. I thought it was motivating. I thought it was inspiring. And for somebody who at the time only had a handful of silver, that just seemed so massive and I was very excited about it. And it did in fact motivate me, but I had learned that my motivation should not come from his YouTube video or her YouTube video, I gotta be able to motivate myself. YouTube is not a permanent source of motivation, I have found. And when it comes to Sack and Silver, I've found it's best to not rely on anyone or depend on anyone for anything. And that doesn't just go for the silver stacking, that goes for all areas of life, the gym, is probably the best example I can give as somewhat of an analogy. I have found it's best to be able to motivate yourself. You gotta be able to get yourself into the gym every day. I got a lot of friends who ask if you wanna go to the gym. I'm like, oh, I can't already. And they're like, oh, okay, I'll just get the gym today. I've always been the opposite. If I hit someone up and I say, hey, you wanna hit the gym real quick? And they say no for whatever reason, I say, that's fine. I'm going anyway. I have the same example. If I ask a girl, she wants to do something, I'll let her know that I'm going with her without her, but I would like her to come with me. And I've just found it's best to be able to motivate yourself. I found it's best to have your why as clear as possible, preferably written down, something I learned in the business realm and now I'm stuck in the business mindset 
and I view everything from a business perspective. That includes Stack and Silver. I found it's best to know what your goal is and know why that is your goal. It's got to be clear. It's got to be specific. It's got to be as obvious as possible for you. So for me, why am I stacking silver? I'm stacking the silver for the long term. I'm stacking silver for the long haul. I'm stacking silver to benefit, to enrich, and to supplement my retirement a couple of decades down the road. I plan on stacking silver as much as possible or if I'm having a bad month, the bare minimum amount of silver. As long as I'm stacking, I'm doing just fine. Because what's the average person doing out there? Average person isn't stacking silver. The average person isn't even stacking dollars. The average person is recklessly spending their dollars, their currency, their what they view as money. They're spending their money. Not saving their money. Not investing their money. Not doing something, not thinking proactively, not preparing themselves in any way, shape, or form. My goal is to be as prepared as possible. Now, I think that if you truly believe that you're prepared, you're probably not prepared. I want to be as prepared as possible. I know there's no way in the world to be 100% prepared for 100% of scenarios, but when it comes to stacking silver, I've always viewed it as financial prepping. If something were to happen, something small scale like getting laid off of work or getting injured and now you're unable to perform the tasks required for your job, whatever the case may be, I want to be prepared. I want to have money tucked away just in case. But my ultimate goal is to save it for the long term, convert some silver into gold, if and when I can, if I can catch the silver to gold ratio gap closing in a little bit, if I can time it right, I would like to convert some silver into gold, reduce the weight, reduce the bulk, preserve those high silver spot prices, and ultimately convert it into what I view as the ultimate form of wealth preservation, the powerhouse metal, which is gold. I plan on doing this. Rinse and repeat. Year after year after year, or decade after decade after decade. And eventually, who knows what gold will be able to be converted into. Maybe land, maybe property. Maybe I can take some of that money and invest in real estate. Create something bigger. My goal is for the long term. I couldn't give a crap less about the short term. I'm here for the long haul. And I'm curious, everyone watching this right now, how do you motivate yourself when it comes to stacking silver? And also, I would like you to mention in your comment something else, something non-silver stacking related. How do you motivate yourself in that area? Maybe it's your job, career, maybe it's college, maybe it's fitness, maybe it's something else. How do you motivate yourself to stick to a certain diet? How do you motivate yourself to do this, do that, do whatever? Let me know in the comment section down below. How do you motivate yourself when it comes to something silver related and something non-precious metal, non-money, non-finance related? Let me know in the comment section down below. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to subscribe. New videos every single day, 365 days a year. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. The link will be in the description. I'm trying really hard to hit 1,000 subscribers, so help us out. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations. Any and all merch can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know. Number one, do you view yourself as someone kind of 
reliant or dependent on watching silver videos in order to stack silver? Or are you someone like me and you have figured out a way to motivate yourself? And if so, how do you motivate yourself when it comes to stacking silver? And how do you motivate yourself when it comes to something non-silver, non-gold, non-precious metal, non-money related? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.